is my spout. Remember this? Kindergarten? When again, so if it's a teapot, it's gotta have my hips. <laughs> okay, gotta be kind of big around here. Hi Sandy, nice Hi. to see you, honey. Nice to see you. Okay, so we've got this. This is called lusterware. Right, purple luster. Yeah. That's when they put a particular type of glaze over the bright white ceramic. This is bone china. How did you acquire it? Uh, I think it was a great, um, great, great uncle's. It says made in Germany. Right. So it's prior to 1945 when we have East and West Germany, right? This particular piece has a green stamp. The green stamp indicates that the piece is of higher quality for the ceramic, more pure ceramic. And this particular piece dates to about 1900 to about 1920. Okay? Value on the piece, about $45. There's a whole snack set. You have a whole set? There's a picture. Tell me the set. What's in the set? Uh, six cups, eight plates, creamer. It's not snacks, honey. It's dessert. Dessert, excuse dessert me. Dessert set. That's it's okay. I mean, set. sometimes we get plates for snacks, but usually snacks are like out of the popcorn bag. Oh, yeah. Right? All right. That's a nice piece. So the full set. You're probably looking at about 175 bucks. Thank you. My pleasure. I don't think it's a Stradivarius. You don't think it's a Stradivarius? No, something tells me. Boy, James, well, what do you need me for? <laughs> because you're the expert. I am the expert, but you seem to be talking like you are. Well, I don't believe you. What are you an expert in, James? Well, a few. Are things. you one of our expert? Uh, one of our exhibitors? No. You're not. No. So what are your, what's your expertise? Bringing that violin down. Oh, okay. You did that very well. You see the gloves on my hands? I see that. The gloves on my hands are from many, many years in major museums because you know what? They don't let you go touching stuff in their storage areas without the gloves. You see all these appraisers without the gloves. Man handling side baseballs. You're going, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. And you know what happens if you manhandle it? This happens. This is where the oils on your hands get onto an object, attract dirt, and deteriorate the object. Okay? So you want to be careful of that. I evaluate 20,000 objects a year, right? I wear the gloves all the time. Now, this... You take them off to sleep? I don't take them off to sleep. I wear them all the time, I said. That's why I asked. Are you listening to me? I wanted to clarify that. Oh, my God. I would have failed him at Penn State. <laughs> Big S. <laughs> It's hard to play this without the strings. What happened to the strings? I don't have You don't have a bridge, you don't have the strings. What are you doing? I'm looking at my wife because... Oh, it's her fault now? <laughs> you know, this is what it means yeah. when you're married, yeah. right? His mistake, we're talking to him, we're going to talk to my wife. Oh, how many years are you married, do you know? Long time. Do you have any kids? Some, yes. Do you have some children? Yes. Do you remember them? Are they yours? Or is I Absolutely I yours. Okay. You sure of that? Wait, what month were you married? Was it the summer? Was it, it the was, winter? It was April. Was it a season? <laughs> it was April. <laughs> Your particular piece is early 1900s, early 1900s violin. It needs a little care. You're not playing anything here. Dixie or anything else on this violin, right? I want you to remember that this particular area is in the Stradivarius style. That's the curve in the early Rococo or early 1700s style. That's why every violin looks like this, because the actual music comes out, the sound or the tone of it will sound better if it's in a particular shape. That's what Stradivarius was an expert in. You're an expert in forgetting important things. <laughs> now that I know you, aren't you a cutie pie? The value on the piece in my hand is about $200, and the case is another 50 bucks. Thanks for being with me. Thank you. A good sport to boot. <laughs> I was gonna do, and then gonna, why don't you just do this and put it in a frame? Because the frame would be more expensive because it would be bigger. Right? And you don't want to dry mount anything that's this old either. Because the dry mounting, actually, you glue it right to a backboard, you'll never unglue it. And you'll devalue it completely. Oh, it probably dates any time between 1715 and 1780. Oh. Yeah. So think of it this way. George Washington is born uh, 1732. It's before him. Now it's cooler, right? But age is not a value indicator. My 93-year-old mother would say, Lori's young. My 23-year-old niece would say, no, she's not. <laughs> age is relative. Is your piece worth $150? I hope it's worth more than that. Your piece is worth more like $1,500. Yours is a early 1700s 
piece. It is all hand decorated. It is actually hand designed. How did you acquire it? A gift. A gift? That's right. Ah, uh, see, when you're sexy, you get gifts. That's what happens. Very, very, very nice. 